Hi guys and welcome back to another player prediction video by myself, Bateson87. If you guys have missed any of the ones I've done over the past couple of weeks, there is a playlist on the channel called FIFA 17 player prediction videos and you can go and check them all out there. We've covered the likes of Liverpool, we've covered Barcelona, Real Madrid, very, very sceptical and a lot of uh, choices made by myself in that one. And... Um, I can't remember the first one. Manchester United, I think, was the first one we are doing. So today we are covering Manchester City, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. And it does feature a few of the new signings and also some players I think will be heavily upgraded come next season. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. Use discount code B87. You get a bit of a discount off as well. And if you guys aren't subscribed to me, feel free to drop a subscription, guys. And go onto my uh, front page or if you're viewing a mobile or uh, any device like that and click that bell button as it will uh, make you part of the notification squad guys so you don't miss a video on this channel so like i said guys it's the same concept as every other video we've done in the past with the player predictions we're covering 12 players like i said some of them are new transfers to manchester city and uh, a few of them are the regulars which did really really perform very well last season not only for manchester city uh, but also for the uh, international teams as well during the euros so guys let's get on to it guys 12 players to review and we're going to split them up four at a time. So the first four players we are looking at, guys, are basically attacking um, side of Manchester City. On the left-hand side, we have Sergio Aguero. We have Inacio as well, who uh, did make a lot of appearances for Manchester City last season. And uh, I honestly thought he deserved that heavy upgrade uh, come at the start of next FIFA. We have Kevin De Bruyne as well. Heavily, uh, like, did, did get dealt an injury. Uh, a pretty, pretty serious one as well during his time at City, uh, which did put him back. I honestly thought he would have been... Uh, uh, well, the top performer of the season last season, but because of the injury, it did cost him. And then we have Raheem Sterling, ex-Liverpool player, um, obviously went for the money at Manchester City. Fair enough, good uh, good idea by him for the money. A lot of people uh, complain about players going for the money, but honestly, guys, football is a short-term career, and uh, I, I don't complain when people do it for the money, so... If you're going to go for a huge payout, go and do it. It's the same in life, guys. If you get offered a massive uh, whack of money uh, and it's all above board and it, it's uh, a short-term thing, definitely go and do it. So... Back to the video. Four players. Sergio Aguero. Very, he's like he is the best striker in the Premier League. A lot of people probably won't say that now that Ibrahimovic in the Premier League, but Sergio Aguero has been clinical ever since joining Manchester City. Another player who does pick up like niggly injuries and stuff, and I think uh, this FIFA, I think he went from. A, I'm actually going to check this one because I'm curious of what ratings he did. I think he went from an 87 rated uh, to an 88 rated upgrade in January. But I'm I'm going to pull up FIFA now and just uh, double check that one. Uh, but I do think that he will be getting that plus one extra uh, upgrade this FIFA. So I'm going to pull up on FIFA and Sergio Aguero is an 87 out of packs and uh, did get bumped up to an 88 as a as an upgrade. I think think let's have a look at concept so it's an 87 87 88 was his upgrade card yeah and he's had loads of special cards on a team of season guys so i think it's more than likely looking like he could get bumped up to an 89 the next one is an actio he does come out of packs and i think it, he comes out of packs as a 70 71 rated player um i will pop pop him up as well uh, 67 rated actually so he went from a 67 to a 70 rated card and i honestly think he could be pushing towards that 74 73 rated mark uh, come the start of fifa he was clinical when he was uh, still young as well something he's still got to look at he's still very very young uh, but was showing the prowess of a top class striker when he was brought off the bench the next one is kevin de bruyne he was key to manchester city's uh, success last season it wasn't as successful as a lot of people wanted it to be but after he got injured that's when they started fit in behind and uh, not getting the ball into the back of the net and Kevin De Bruyne was ridiculous from set pieces uh, his passing was amazing his finishing as well but unfortunately he did uh, suffer with a knee injury which did uh, obviously stop the team from going forward but I have bumped him from I think he come out of packs as an 86 um, I'm going to check this one I'm really, I've not played FIFA in so much time uh, so much time yeah he comes out of packs as an 86 so I reckon he's going to pump towards that 88 rated mark uh, matching David Silva the next one we've got is Raheem Sterling now at Liverpool, he was brilliant. A few times he was a bone little bitch, but same with most players. And I'm going to keep him at his 82 rated uh, card now. Uh, mainly because of the reason reasoning that he, he is very hit and miss. His finishing is all over the shop. Um, it was the same when he was at Liverpool. Uh, but he does show the promise. And even for England, he wasn't doing that good. He was very useless, actually, for England. Um, like, he, he didn't even notice he was on the pitch. That's what a type of player he is. But hopefully, uh, with the new manager in at Manchester City and also some new teammates, 
gets around him, it will give him a kick up the ass and hopefully uh, like we need like homegrown players, guys, we need them to become good, regardless of what team they are at, uh, for us to succeed on national level. So that's a rundown of the first four guys, Aguero, Inacio, De Bruyne, Sterling. If you guys agree or disagree with any of these ratings, leave the comments in the comment section below, guys. It's your space to express your opinions and um Feel free to name all the players we have done in today's video and write your predicted rating for these players in there as well. So the next four we got, guys, is two brand new signings from Manchester City in Lito and Gunda, Gundogan as well uh, from Dortmund. And then we have David Silva and Otamendi as well. Now, with the Manchester City players who played that last season, David Silva is already very, very high rated anyway. Even though he did have a very good season, I reckon he is definitely proving that he is that rated card and will stick at 88. The next one is Otamendi. Now, a lot of people are saying that he isn't as good as uh, that rating that he should be but I honestly see him as the number one defender in Manchester City's defence currently keeping him at the 84 potentially could push him to an 85 um, after his performances was obviously Argentina as well um, so I have kept them both the same the next two Nelito is the only one out of the two to get an upgrade Nelito obviously an amazing season in La Liga but Gundogan, Gundogan sorry, has been injured for a majority of the season with Dortmund hence why I've kept him the same rating and who knows he EA might even downgrade him by one just because of his lack of playing time. But regardless, all four of these cards at the start of FIFA 17 will be expensive. Gundogan's got the four-star skills, four-star weak foot, pace, and very good centre midfielder. Silver, high-rated BPL player, anyway, Spanish in a decent camp. And Otamendi, that super fast defender um, in FIFA, which everyone loves in the BPL teams. But Nelito, I think, has gone from an 81 to an 83, a plus two jump, but a very, very successful season in La Liga, hence why I've done it. And yet again, guys, if you don't agree with any of these ratings. Some, some of you may even think that Gundogan deserves an upgrade, even though I don't think he does because of the lack of playing time for Dortmund. Uh, but hey-ho, it's people's opinions, guys. We can't like mock them and stuff, but everyone has each individual opinion to themselves. So that's eight of the players done, guys. Obviously, we covered the first four. It was like so Aguero. These four as well were the two brand new signings in the league on Gundogan. Gundogan, sorry. And I keep getting his name mixed up. I do know how to say his name. It's Gundogan, uh, as I heard him say it himself, but I'm just trying to adjust my speech to his speech. And uh, I by the time FIFA 17 comes out, guys, I will have corrected his name. So we're going to run down to the last final four players, guys, and see what ratings they are. So the final four ratings, guys, are for the usuals of Manchester City. These are Vincent Company when he's not injured. We have Joe Hart as well. Obviously, uh, currently, uh, Manchester City's number one from last season. Toure, who we're still not sure what's going to be happening with his career. By the time this video goes out, he might have left Manchester City, but hopefully that isn't the case. I enjoy watching him in the Premier League. And then Fernandinho, who is the standout player in Manchester City. Like, I was looking at... Um who scored.com of Manchester City's players and Fernandinho is up there in the top three uh, with a brilliant average rating for every game he has played this season. So Vincent Company is the first one you guys will notice. Uh, downgrading, minus one. Not because of the injuries, but because when he was actually playing, he was making some bad choices. The same as a lot of the Manchester City defence, actually, with... Um, I've forgotten that player. Demi Kalis, who's actually gone now. The standout player, actually, in the defence of, of City was uh, Zabaleta, and he's obviously been let go now. But company, I reckon, deserves that down, one downgrade because of the fact he was very, uh, like, all over the shot when he was playing. Got himself injured a few times. That's not his fault, obviously, and that's not one of the reasons why I downgraded him, but just because he wasn't playing up to his potential. The next one is Joe Hart. Now, a lot of people after England's European performance um, in the Euros would have said that he deserves a downgrade. I don't think Joe Hart deserves a downgrade. He deserves that 83 rated. Still a very good goalkeeper, but obviously in the pressure... Well, you guys saw him against Barcelona and stuff, guys. He was pulling off amazing saves uh, for domestically for uh, for Manchester City. It was just the Euros. He got caught out with a freak, few freak goals. Annoying ones uh, which obviously everyone was watching and did see the mistakes. The next one is Yaya Toure. I've kept Toure at the same rating um, because he had an amazing season. A lot of people say that he's lazy but when you watch players get older, they learn not to expel uh, energy just as much as the younger players. So um, they're very calm, very patient. Even though he does look lazy, Yaya Toure still pulls off some amazing, amazing uh, sequences in football. Not only with shots, free kicks, whatnot. He is a strong, brutal player and got brilliant dribbling. And he doesn't seem to be aging at all. But Toure, I've kept at 85. I think a lot of you guys will agree at that one. But whether it's going to be a Manchester City card come next season, we'll have to wait and see how Pep does decide to keep with, this, uh, with the team that he's got 
currently. The next one is Fernandinho. Now, I think Fernandinho is an 80-rated card. Um, I'm going to check it now. Uh, Fernandinho is an 80-rated card. Now, I was tempted to jump him up to an 82, 83 card, um, but I have only bumped him to a plus one to on the safe side. But Fernandinho was uh, involved in a lot of the chances for Manchester City, both clearing up defensively and going forward on the attack as well. And uh, I would definitely say, if anyone deserves an upgrade out of this Manchester City team, um, De Bruyne is definitely the number one, and then Fernandinho, the close second, in my opinion. So, that has been a rundown of the Manchester City player predictions uh, for FIFA 17. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, I like it and we very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Write down the 12 players that we have done a video, um, the video on today and write down your protected, um, well, your uh, like guest ratings uh, for them come FIFA 17. I'm curious, guys, and if I am wrong on any or you guys agree with them, comment down below, guys. If you haven't seen the other playlist, like I said at the start of the video, go and check that out and you'll see loads of other teams done as well. And we're going to continue all the way to Gamescom uh, with doing a lot more of these player prediction videos just because FIFA 16 doesn't seem to be the game that it was uh, like a month ago it's just completely dead now uh, and obviously everyone enjoys uh, doing these FIFA 17 videos and you guys enjoy watching them as well so smash that like rating guys subscribe if you're not and we'll be back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy